Hello everyone. Now I'm going to talk you through my reflection journey of taking the requirement analysis and modeling unit. First of all, I would like to show you some of the key elements of system requirement analysis and design, which I considered important throughout the unit and useful for an effective system or business analyst. As you can see, it comprises of traditional approach, system development of life cycle, user stories and use cases, agile approach, object-oriented approach, the project management, as well as evaluating of alternative solutions. All stakeholders should understand, document, and communicate the system requirement for analysis and design to have a better insight of them. Organizations should adopt the new concepts of information system to respond to the continually growth of the business as well as improve the existing business process. Information technology may replace the traditional way of doing business and eventually causing job dissatisfaction. Therefore, system requirement must be created in a way that harmonizes people with technologies. During my experience of doing the requirement analysis and modeling unit, I have worked as a team to deliver a system solution to an organization that operates under the traditional approach, which allows me to gain a lot of knowledge that related to the system requirement analysis, including what does the owner of the business want from the system, and what can the system perform to meet those needs. In the future, for me, the important skills for being a successful business analyst is to go beyond the task responsibility and accountability for system analysis and development. Also, organization needs to adapt their business or process with the information system in order to deal with the customer demand and technological advancement. This is so that they can continue adding value to their customers as well as their business. So throughout my experience and time at Swinburne University, the requirement analysis and modeling has played an integral part to my course. I started by modeling the swim lane diagram in Introduction to Business Information System Unit. And now, the requirement analysis and modeling gave me another opportunity to develop the context diagram, use case diagram, as well as many other diagrams. So, I can conclude that after doing this unit, I can describe the concept of the requirement analysis and modeling as well as apply some of my existing business skill together with technical skill to deliver solutions for an effectiveness of the business. I hope you liked my video and thank you for watching.